Hello there, and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And thank you all for joining us for another building character unit. This month, we're taking a look at the promises、Ooh. that we make、mm -hmm. and the promises that we keep.、Mm. Mm. And often, we make promises because we really do want to help people. But it's also true that most of us, at least some of the time, we break those promises to the very same people. It does happen,、mm. and you know we are all human, so、mm. we all make mistakes. But keeping promises and breaking promises can really affect our relationships, and sometimes quite a lot. It's true. Whether it's a good friend or even a family member,、yeah. if that person is always breaking their promises to you, it will affect your friendship or relationship. In some kind of way, often a negative or bad way, feelings will be hurt, trust will be lost, and in the worst cases, friendships and relationships will be broken forever. <gasps> so, a promise made should be a promise kept. Yes. And if that promise can't be kept, we all need to realize that this comes with a cost. It promises to be an interesting and educational article over the next two days, so now it's a good time to start. But first, of course, we have to check out all of today's new vocabulary. Ooh, do you promise? Promise. Really? I'm not gonna lie. Fantastic. <laughs> 同学们一定知道承诺非常重要。今天我们一起来看自己和自己的承诺，还有和别人的承诺。我们先来看几个单字。第一个 ，aim，aim， aim, 目标、目的是个名词。What is your aim for this month? What is your aim for this month? 你这个月的目标是什么？第二个单字 novel novel 小说是个名词。Pride and Prejudice is a classic novel. Pride and Prejudice is a classic novel. Pride and Prejudice 也就是傲慢与偏见是一个经典小说。第三个单字 closet closet 衣柜是个名词。The two children hid in the closet. The two children hid in the closet. 那两个孩子躲在衣柜里。最后一个单字 friendship, friendship, 友情，友谊是个名词。Friendship is one of the greatest gifts in life. Friendship is one of the greatest gifts in life. 友谊是生命中最棒的礼物之一。好了，我们现在看完单字例句，一起回到课文中。I make promises to myself all the time. For example, one of my aims last year was to read a novel a week. It didn't go well because I only finished ten books. I also make promises to other people. The other day, I told my friend I would help her clean her closet. However, when the day came, I didn't. Explanation one. Okay, so as we mentioned in the introduction, our article today is about keeping your promises. And would you look at that? The title of the article is also "Keeping Your Promises." Amazing. That's right. And not only is it the title, it's also our very first grammar point for the day.、No. Daphne will tell us all about it, and we'll get right into the article. That's incredible. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 keep one's promise， 意思是遵守某人的承诺。Keep 在这里是及物动词，意思是遵守。三配是 keep， kept， kept。Promise 是名词，诺言的意思，也可以说 keep one's word。例如 ，Zoe is trustworthy. She always keeps her promise. 若依值得信赖。总是遵守承诺。Okay, so keeping your promises is the topic as well as the title of our article. Let's start reading. In the first sentence, it says, "I make promises to myself all the time." 
Ah, okay. So people do this when they make a New Year's resolution, like I'm going to go to the gym four days a week this year. Do they do it?、Mm. <laughs> 大家会不会在新年的时候给自己设定一些目标，或是下定决心要做某件事呢 ？Resolution， 决心，决定。New Year's resolution 就是新年新希望，我决定要做的事。So Mike, what's your New Year's resolution? Oh, well, I've Forget what it was. It was something like I'm going to eat more fruit and vegetable for my vegetables for my snacks instead of chocolate and potato chips. Oh, that's a good resolution.、Yeah, I'm kind of sticking to it.、Oh, you know. Well, Mike, I hope you can keep your promise, just like the topic of our article. Okay, let's read on to find out what the author promised herself. We read in the next sentence. For example, one of my aims last year was to read a novel a week. Hey, that sounds like another New Year's resolution. I promise to read more and watch less TV, or something like that. Well, how did it go? Was she able to keep this promise to herself? Well, sadly, no. This next sentence says it didn't go well because I only finished ten books. Mm, a novel a week for a year—that would be fifty-two books, right? Yeah, that would be fifty-two books. So she only read ten. She only read ten. Oh, so she broke her promise to herself. Yeah, she did. She was forty-two books away、oh、from keeping、goodness. that promise,、mm. and that's too bad. But hey, at least in this case, she only let herself <laughs> down, right? It wasn't a promise to another person that she broke,、mm. but. In other cases, it is,、yeah. and that's when feelings can be hurt and relationships can be damaged. As it says next, I also make promises to other people. Ooh, and here we get an example. We read: The other day, I told my friend I would help her clean her closet.、Oh. However, when the day came, I. Didn't. Ooh, now that would probably hurt her friend's feelings. Yeah. Not only did she break her promise to this friend, but in this case, the friend was counting on her help, was really needing her help. Now the friend's feelings are hurt, and the friend still has to do all of that work. <gasps> But now, by herself,、yeah. this、oh. isn't good. But what is good is the fact that it's time for our break. So let's take that break now, and then we'll come back to keep reading. We promise. To be honest, I don't always keep my promises, so people can't depend on me, and many of my friendships have ended because of that. Explanation two. So we just read about how one time the author let her friend down. She promised to help the friend and then didn't. In other words, she broke her promise to her friend. Right, and as we keep reading, it seems like this wasn't the only time that she let a friend down. The next sentence says, "To be honest." I don't always keep my promises.、Mm. Oh, okay, so this is a pattern for her. Something she does a lot of the time. She makes a promise to somebody, and then she breaks that promise. Well, that's not nice. No, it sure isn't. And as a result, she is paying a price for it. And so are her relationships with other people.、Mm. As we reach the end of the article for today, the last sentence tells us so. People can't depend on me, and many of my friendships have ended because of that.、Uh, that's really too bad. Since these friends have been disappointed and let down by her so many times over the years, they just stop being friends altogether. That's a tough price to pay. Yeah. But it also shows how keeping and breaking promises can have a big impact on our relationships with other people. Well, let's head back over to Daphne one last time for another grammar point, and then we'll wrap things up. 第二则文法要带大家看一个句子 My friendships have ended. 我的友谊已经结束 End 在这里是不及物动词，意思是结束。在句子中搭配现在完成式，主词加上 have has 加过去分词，用来表示动作已经完成。例如 ，the semester has ended. 
学期已经结束。Okay, folks. Well, we're all out of time, but please come back tomorrow for the second part of the article. We will be here, right? We promise. Yes, we promise. Definitely. <gasps> Keeping your promises. I make promises to myself all the time. For example, one of my aims last year was to read a novel a week. It didn't go well because I only finished ten books. I also make promises to other people. The other day, I told my friend I would help her clean her closet. However, when the day came, I didn't. To be honest, I don't always keep my promises, so people can't depend on me, and many of my friendships have ended because of that. Confusing words. <laughs> anyway, today's topic is common, common, ordinary, ordinary, and regular. Regular. Okay. So common is what it means. Common is common, ordinary. 主要是常见的意思， right. 所以比如说，你可能在纽约到处都可以看到黄色的计程车。A yellow cab is a common sight in New York City. Okay, right? all right, so that's very common. Yes. 那再来呢，就是 ordinary. Ordinary is more like 一般的。嗯哼。Right, like、okay. you could say Mrs. Walton teaches. Ordinary people, how to sing opera? Walton 太太她教一般人唱歌，所以这些人可能就是没有什么特别的地方。Regular 也是普通的。So we want to say it's not special, not fancy. Yes. So for example, you can say Mary wears just a regular T-shirt to school every day. Okay, so Mary 每天去上学都会穿普通的衣服。像是形容东西或事情，对不对？或是吃的，吃的。OK。So ordinary 就是还可以形容人，可是 regular 不行，对不对 ？Basically. But I think、right. we can understand more if we go somewhere. Where should we go? Oh, oh, oh! Are we going to live action? That's right. Hey, what are you drinking? Is that a latte? No, it's just a regular coffee. Want some? No thanks. Regular coffee is a bit too ordinary for me. I like something a bit more special, like a caramel macchiato. Wow, you look pretty ordinary, but in fact, you're quite fancy. Shut up. You're ordinary. <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously though, is it pretty common for Americans to make a big pot of regular coffee to drink in the morning? I always see that in the movies. Yes, it's pretty common. Although more and more people have espresso machines at home, so it's not uncommon for people to make fancy espresso drinks at home. Fancy like you. I am pretty fancy, huh? <laughs> you are indeed. <laughs> I'm Hanny. Welcome to our one minute unit. In this one minute of time, we will practice four letters and have a drill drill. Students, are you ready? One minute unit. Let's start. The first letter can be used as an adjective to measure, or as a noun. If you measure something, it is not your goal or objective. Okay, so this is called aim. Aim. His aim is to break his own record. His goal is to break his own record. His goal is to break his own record. 第二个单词呢是小说，同学们喜欢看小说吗？好，小说的英文是 novel， novel。I love reading romance novels。我很爱看浪漫爱情小说，超爱的。好，第三个单词呢叫做橱柜。柜子通常它是就是嵌在那种墙壁那种橱柜。好，这次叫做 closet。closet。She put the blue dress back into her closet。她把那件蓝色洋装放回衣橱里。第四单词呢是有情有义，这次怎么说呢？叫做 friendship。friendship。They fight with each other from time to time。But that doesn't affect their friendship. 有时候他们会吵架，不过那不会影响到他们的友谊。好，太好了，我们这一分钟就也顺利复习完四个单词喽。同学们表现很棒，记得要多多复习哦。我们下次见了，拜拜。
Thank you.